Hey y'all, good rising. It is early. The sun is not even all the way up where I am right now, but today is move day. So I'm going to walk you through what we do on move day. Um, today move day is a little bit different than normal move day because I kind of prepared a little bit yesterday for move day. Look y'all, out of still sleep. <laughs> She's still asleep. She is not happy with me waking up on booth day doing a video. She's not happy about it. But just want to give y'all a little cap. So, yeah. So, today is move day. It is about... Let me show y'all a little peek outside. Sorry that I'm off in the camera, but... Turn it around. A little peek outside. Sun just now coming up. Yes, so the sun is not quite up yet. It is very early and I'm ready to move. I got a long drive today because we moving a little bit further than we normally move. So today I got to get prepared for a seven hour drive. So I am about to pray and get myself situated meaning get some pants on because your girl just put on a shirt for the video so i'm about to pray get myself situated and i'll be back to show you what happens on move day all right see you in a second okay y'all i am back um my camera girl has not quite opened her eyes yet but i'm just gonna try to give you all a little cap of what i do so First thing I do on move day is I get I take my reflectives out. Um, as you see, this one is falling out, so it is preparing itself for move day. But yeah, so first thing I do is I take my reflectives out. I do not take my reflectives out of my rear windows. Let me reflectives. Let me show y'all in my rear window. So these windows right there, I do not take the reflectives out of those windows. Um, I just take the reflectives out of my back windows and my front rear windows and my front windows. And so that's how I start the day. So that's what I'm about to do. Get these reflectives out and hopefully my camera girl gets up so that y'all can see the process. Let's hope for the best. Okay, y'all, as you can see, I'm just really back here getting it together. That's what I do on move day. I clean up. I put all our stuff away. I pack everything away. Yes, I do make our beds before we get out of Dodge. I just like that whenever we make it to our next place, we can lay down comfortably. We don't have to figure it out. We don't have to think about getting everything together. We could just relax. So I like to get everything straightened up so that when we get to our next spot, guess what? It is relaxed time. We can lay down, watch a movie and enjoy each other. So that's all I'm doing right now is just cleaning it up. Okay, y'all. So I got my back part cleaned up. Look at my girl. My camera girl woke up. So y'all got to see the video. So yeah, I got my back part clean. Um, Let me show y'all how I opened up the curtains. I didn't open up the curtains fully because I don't open up the curtains fully for the back part. I just open up the curtains so that I can see. So I'm going to switch the camera around. So on the driver's side, I open up the curtains like this just so I can see out that crack of the window just to see if somebody is in my blind side. So that's how I do. And scan the camera around. Boom. Add all in your face. And so in the back, I just open up the curtains completely so that i could drive let me fix this one a little bit because sometimes i need to as y'all can see i got this curtain kind of tied around here hold on y'all i know it is hard to record and to use your hand so just work with me have your patience work with me so i got that curtain tied around so this part could be pulled back a little bit more so that I can see. Um, I don't open up these curtains because I don't need those windows. Um, don't open up those side curtains. This curtain right here, I opened up completely. I took that in the back of the seat just so I could see anything in my blind. And look, y'all, look what's on the window. Ice. Y'all see that ice? Yes, it was 16 where we are. It was 16 degrees last night, y'all. We got ice. Let me say this. 
waking up and living in the mountains are beautiful but it does get cold in the mountains so that's why we got a long drive today because we are trying our best to get out of these mountains so yeah so i'm gonna flip the camera around you see our floor is clean all we got to do is take out our garbage from last night our floor is clean and yes yes that's about it so i've done the back i will get out and show y'all what i do on the outside look at her hey girl <laughs> y'all yes yeah, so we are about to finish getting ready when i get to the outside to show y'all what preparations we do for move day on the outside um i'll be back all right okay y'all i am outside as y'all can see i got on my jacket i'm outside i'm letting the car um warm up before we get on the road let me show y'all i'm still plugged in to the electrical i did not unplug because before i unplug i make sure i open up this door and i make sure i check my battery so as y'all can see this is all our food stuff our essentials right so i check my battery so i lift this up because my battery charger is down here i press start and it tells me that my battery is 100%. So I check my battery before I unplug just to make sure that turn it off because my battery is 100%. I just push that back in if I can get it back in. There we go. So yeah, so I check my battery. You see I'm fully functioning. Before I unplug, I check my battery because we don't know if the next place we go and we can plug in. So I always try to have a full battery just in case we need heat or anything to be self-sufficient if we need to cook or anything like that. So yes, before I unplug, I check my battery to make sure that it is fully charged before getting out of there. I also, let me show y'all what else I do. But like I said, I prepared a little last night. I also empty my gray water tank, which I emptied last night. So let me just show y'all. I normally just pull it out like that. Move that, y'all, sorry about that. I normally just pull it out like that. Oh, I do got a little bit of water in there that y'all can see. So I normally just pull my gray water out like that and I just empty any excess water out before I leave. As y'all can see, I cannot get the water out. Oh, look at this. My cameraman came to help me. Thank you, camera girl. So I'm gonna turn the camera. And my cameraman got y'all. <laughs> okay, y'all. So this is my gray water. I normally just dump it out like this. And I just slide it back in once I dump it. I slide it back in. I put that back in. And it slides in there fairly easy. No problem. Slide in there back fairly easy. There I go dropping stuff. So yeah, so normally I make sure that my water pump is off, which it is because I prepared last night. So I turn my water pump off. I make sure that I get my hose out. So I make sure I get my hose out. Make sure I do this normally, normally at in the morning before we move. I fill up my water tank with this. If we're not close to water, I just go to water and I fill up my water tank so that we can have water just in case we park somewhere that they don't have water, that we do have our own supply of water. So I normally fill up before on move day. And then I just take this. I don't need a cap for the gray water because it's empty. So I just take this. I cap my clean water off. I put my water plug just over here so it's out the way. And I just put all my stuff back. As y'all can see, I got everything nice and neat. I prepared. Let me. I prepared last night. So as y'all can see, I got my pots and pans. Everything in there nice and neat. Um, Yeah. So we ready to move. So yeah, that's what I do on move day. I make sure I empty my gray water. I, fill, I try to fill up my clean water just in case we go somewhere that we not plugged in like i said i check my battery to make sure that it is fully 100 percent charged because we never know where we're gonna stop and when we're charged we can use our big heater that has like 150 watts it runs 150 watts 
but when we're not plugged in we have to use our battery so we have to use our small healer so just to make sure that we are self-sufficient before we leave any electrical i don't unplug before i check that so yes that is our move day thing so y'all see what we do after i check all of that i unplug so i'm gonna get a camera back to ada and she gonna show y'all how i unplug it is fairly easy but just to let y'all see what goes on so yeah this is my electrical plug on my car i normally just unplug straight from my car put that cap back on it um unplug from the box as y'all can see i do have a three a 30 amp adapter on my plug but I don't need it because they also had a 120. So I just use it just because. So I normally just unplug, unplug from my adapter just to keep my cord really nice and neat so that I don't have a big mess of a tangle. Because in the beginning, y'all, we used to have a big mess of the tangle. I just do my cord like this so it's easy to unwrap. I stick it in there. And then the other side, the other side, I just do like this and then I sort of plug them in together. I don't know if other people do that, but I do that so I don't have a big tangle and it's easy to just plug in. I put this in my glove compartment and I put this on the floor. So yeah, that's about it. What we do for preparation and unplugging and getting the rest of our stuff ready. Besides that, we are about to grab something to eat because I didn't cook breakfast this morning. As y'all see, I woke straight up to get ready to leave because we have a long drive. Normally our drives are not this long. Here, let me take the camera because if y'all saw my camera girl, hold on y'all, I gotta switch the camera around. So just give me a second. Yes. Listen y'all, if y'all saw my camera girl, she looked like... <laughs> Yo, so I just had to take the camera because my camera girl is not on it this morning. She is not on it. You hear me? She is not on it this morning. So, yes, that's what we do normally to prepare to leave. I'm just going to hand that plug over to you and then that plug. So, y'all, what left I have to do is I have to turn off the lights in the back. As y'all see, our lights are still on. So, I have to turn off the lights. And she opened up the door for me. Thank you. Yes. So I have to turn off the lights in the back. I'm all what it's looking like right now. So right now, it's just looking like that. Normally we do put our bed up into a couch before we leave and we make it all nice and neat, but we decided say this. We decided that for what? Because by the time we get to the next place, it's probably nighttime and it take a lot. It doesn't take a lot of work, but I just want y'all to know that it does take energy to get our bed converted from a couch to a bed. So sometimes, so the last time we moved, we just left it out and that was kind of convenient. So we decided that this time we were just going to leave it out too. So yeah. So anyway, the only thing left is for us to get our iPads, put them in our iPad bags, um, wrap up our heater, put our heater away and said turn off the lights so we just flip that switch lights are off and i need to dump our trash from last night so yeah i'm just gonna take this trash thinking about trash i normally dump our trash every morning from the night because you know we do all type of stuff in the night so yeah so i normally get up in the morning and dump our trash anyway and so just dump our trash only thing left is to get our iPads kind of just take that cap off oh y'all know what I didn't even show y'all where we were we are in y'all I don't even know where we at that's the real truth I can't remember Cambridge we are in Cambridge I'm gonna turn it around just so y'all can see the RV park I think you can stay here up to three or four nights, but let me show you. So yes, these are the individual little sites for electricity. Ah, they have one, two, I think they have like 11 or 12 because they go all the way back there and they go all the way around. We had a couple other hunter neighbors, but they left. So you, as you can see, they don't have water at each um site 
but they do have water in the middle they have two water things you can't see the water down there but it is all the way down there i zoomed in for you so yeah so they have two places you can get water um they got grills so you know if we had some if i made some black bean burgers or something i could have grilled them they got garbages and almost every picnic table actually not almost they have them at every picnic table they have a garbage over there oh for you RVers, i just want you to know anybody with an rv they do have a dump station at this rv park so yes this is cambridge cambridge nebraska rv park you can stay up to three or four nights i'm not really sure about that we just stayed a couple nights because like i said we're trying to get to where it's warm because baby is 16 out here and it is beautiful to wake up in these areas but it is not beautiful for our exercise and our walk see i like the cold but ada as y'all can see she is not with it so yeah y'all we about to get on the road just give y'all a little cap of how we move this is move day y'all so move day here we come i'm about to get in this car with ada and finish up and look y'all look what she, she getting the ice off the inside of the windows <laughs> she think it's amazing so she's getting the ice off so ada is getting the ice off it is warm in there i didn't y'all want y'all to think i'm freezing her because our heater heats up the whole area because it is for a small room it heats up that back like listen sometimes we be sweating y'all sometimes we be in here sweating so yes we are as y'all can see already i just gotta get back there so y'all get in the back with me real quick i gotta take these shoes off because no we do not have shoes in our living space because i told y'all i'm a little sort of like a clean freak a little bit so I think that's kind of disgusting because you don't know what you step in when you out walking or hiking or whatever you just never know what you step in and to bring that into your living space i'm just not with it so sorry y'all i turned the lights off already because i thought i was about to leave after this but yeah so yeah so we got a little candle i don't know why just to be decorative so we got a little candle i'm just gonna put that up in the cup holder over there um like I said, I'm gonna unplug our iPads because they were still. Do you need this iPad to be fully charged? No. So do you want me to just keep it charging? Yeah. Okay. So she want her iPad to stay charging. So I'm just gonna secure. Oh, you know what I didn't show y'all? I didn't show y'all how I secure the refrigerator. But because we didn't put the bed up, we don't even need to secure the refrigerator when we don't put the bed up. So normally. Let me show y'all. So normally I have a bungee. That's the refrigerator. Normally I have a bungee down there. You can't see it because the light's off. I'm sorry, y'all. Bear with me. I told y'all I'm new at this. So normally I secure the refrigerator, but when we don't put the bed up, we don't need to secure the refrigerator at all. So that kind of work out for our benefit. So yeah. So, but like I said, this is just a different kind of move day because I prepared a little yesterday, like cleaning out our gray water and I did not know I was gonna make a video. And if I would've knew I was gonna make a video, I would not have prepared like that. I would've let y'all see the raw dog, clean out the gray water, all the stuff. But it's really nothing because all we use our sink for is brushing our teeth and cooking and washing dishes. So our gray water is fine. But yeah, so what else oh yeah i just gotta put up our heater and i just unplug it and just wrap it up it's no big deal y'all i wish i had a tripod right here because i would just set y'all right here and talk to y'all while um oh i could set y'all up against the sink ta-da y'all sorry if the sink is in your view because i have y'all setting up against the faucet so that's just how it is so yeah i'm just gonna unplug our heater get that all wrapped up so we can go y'all listen y'all i have really 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 loved this vacation slash trip slash tour slash whatever adventure i have really loved it it has been amazing um the development of faith can i say that like when you are out here 
you really have to trust the Holy Spirit. The development of faith, the development of provision, like you are so thankful to the Almighty for his provision, for his guidance, for his keeping, for his protection. Y'all, this has really been a development of faith. I love it. So, I love it. So, yeah, y'all, we got everything ready. You got our apples out? Yeah. Here, we can bring this plug. Sorry, y'all, if y'all don't see me, I am unplugging our internet phone. So, yeah. So, we got everything. You can plug that up in the front. So, yeah, we got everything together. And we are, y'all, my little decorations. Hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, y'all, I had to fix the decorations. But, yeah, so we are ready to go. Windows open. Everything open. Y'all, let me show y'all this. See, y'all remember in the first tour video, we had a different carpet. It was like a cute little jute carpet. But let me tell y'all, that jute is like having a pet. Them jute hairs came out everywhere. We got rid of that jute carpet a couple states ago. We threw it away and we picked up this one because that rug was on my last nerve. I was sweeping and vacuuming more than I would have had to if I didn't have that rug. Like I said, that rug was like having a Labrador. It was everywhere, y'all. It was everywhere. So, yeah. So, we are all packed up. Y'all see me getting in the front. Listen, y'all. Let me say this, too. Living in the van make you agile. It loosen up your joints. It make you agile. I can get in and out of spots like no other, y'all. So, yes. So, we are ready to go. And that's about it. Like I said, we love y'all. We thank y'all so much for joining us on this journey. If y'all have any questions about anything we do or anything, just drop them down in the comments. We will try to make a video about it. I do reply to every comment i'll try my best to reply to every comment if you have made a comment and i didn't reply sometimes i see comments and i click on them to reply to them then they disappear and i thought that just meant that the person deleted it so if that's not the case and you put a comment and i did not reply i am so sorry i don't know what happens to those comments that i click on and try to reply to and they just disappear i have no idea so i am sorry i love y'all i love y'all for your support Thank y'all for following us, keeping up with us, checking in on us. Thank y'all so much for all of that. We love y'all so much. And until next time, be blessed. Mwah, 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 mwah. Peace. You want to, you got some kissing for the morning? Oh, she got some, y'all. <laughs> all right, y'all. Peace. We love y'all. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share. All right.